All right, hey, what's going on, people? YouTube's masculinity here now. I was kind of hesitant to make this video, but uh, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna do it for uh, just to vent my frustration and all that. And finally, I don't know, maybe somebody out there have I don't know a better idea of what to what to do to help the situation. So. As of recently, probably within the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to get some 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 older games, uh, you know, uh, N64, NES, uh, SNES, uh, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, if you don't know, and uh, some GameCube games and stuff like that. It's mainly, um, you know, ones that I played as a kid or ones that I got with the console when, you know, I first got them and the ones that I have fond memories of. Now... The only problem with that is the crazy, crazy expensive markups that these games have been having recently. And not just recently, I'm talking about over the years. They were always substantially very, very high, and I've never understood why. I mean, you know, eBay has an influence on it, and I could show you what I mean right now if I were to go, you know, uh, we'll go straight to video games and consoles, and I'll hit search. Well, let's see. Alright. So watch. If I type in NES. Let's see. Um, okay, so here we have a original Nintendo NES system console, but it's missing the power cord. And this person wants $64.99. Or approximately seven, uh, $79.85 Canadian dollars. Yeah. Now, what happens is, is this is the one, this is what I've seen usually. I would go to a garage sale and see, you know, uh, uh, exactly this, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. And somebody will go on eBay, search in Nintendo Entertainment System, or whatever, if they're older, that's what they'll do. They'll go on eBay or, you know, Google or whatever, and then they'll usually find an eBay ad, and they'll come and see this, and they'll see, oh, somebody wants sixty four ninety nine for it. Now, that doesn't mean that this is going to be selling for sixty four ninety nine because I can get one of these at one of my local shops for 40 bucks, and even that's a little too high for these. But yeah, so sixty four ninety nine. That's outrageously expensive. And then you can see some other things here. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So here's a Nintendo console bundle Mario Duck Hunt NES 2 controllers. This one's a little bit better, but still, it's, you know... See, this is what I'm talking about. Trending at $89.61. This console is not worth $81.69. Especially the damage. You see the damage? There's no way in hell anybody in the right state of mind would pay, you know... $89 for that, nor would they pay $64 for that, or $79 for this. It's ridiculous. And I mean, let's see if we can find something. Let's see. So we have Raid 2020, we have, what is that, Battle or Roller Bots or whatever, or whatever that is. Uh, Rain Gretzky Hockey, Family Feud, Robocop, Robocop 2. And somebody wants uh, twenty-five dollars for all of those. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's not bad, I guess, but I wouldn't pay for this. I would not pay for this specifically because of the total recall, because it's made by Acclaim, and Acclaim sucks ass. Um, Wayne Gretzky hockey is a sports game, Family Feud. They're probably like a quarter, but yeah, you can see what I mean, like. Let me try to find something that's even more ridiculous. Okay, here we go. Super Mario Brothers 3. Let me show you something, okay? Super Mario Bros 3. Let me show you show let me let me show you something. Okay, so this game came out on the NES and the Super er, the Famicom. Uh let's we'll just go with February 12, 1990, okay? Now let's go to the reception. Sales, Mario Bros. Let's see. Will it tell us how many have sold? Sold 4 and 7 million units in Japan and the United States, respectively. 
In the United States alone, the game has generated over $500 million in revenue for Nintendo. So, 4 to 7 million units sold. That's a lot of copies in the wild. And not to mention, I'm pretty sure this game was bundled with a Super Nintendo, or not a Super Nintendo, a NES uh, bundle at one point, just like Super Mario Brothers 3 was, or Super Mario Brothers 2 was. Now, somebody wants $10 for that American and $12.29 Canadian. That is fucking out, like, downright ridiculously expensive. Now, this is just eBay prices, you know, you can find things, but uh, another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to uh, a website called Kijiji. Now, this is a, you know, a, a place that I can get things at retail price because nobody likes to price anything lower than that. So, if I go other, and let's see, Mario, Zelda, and Final Fantasy games. So as you can see here, there's Mario, or Mario, listen to me, there's Zelda, and there's some more Zelda, and then there's Super Mario Bro uh, World, uh, Dr. Mario, I think that's Super Mario Brothers for the Game Boy, I'm not sure what that is, there's another Mario game, another Mario game, another Mario game, another Mario game, that's Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy. So, let's see the prices that they have list, Zelda, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, Super Nintendo, that's what that is, 30 bucks, that's like not worth it super mario world super nintendo 15 bucks that's not worth it this that game was bundled with a super Nin, uh, super nintendo and there's at least probably like 10 or 15 million of those sold alone and they're easy to come by you can walk into any retro game store you can walk into any pawn shop ask them for super nintendo games and they will have this game and they will be looking for 15 dollars because this is the shit that we have to deal with Super Mario Land original Game Boy 15, so pretty much all $15. The only one that's really worth $15 are these two, and that's it. These other ones, not so much. Maybe maybe the Final Fantasy, but that's even pushing it a little bit. Let's see what else we could find. All right, let's see. An Atari 2600. All right, let's go back. Let's go look up some some facts about the Atari 2600. This guy wants 50 bucks for this, and the games are worth nothing on the Atari. Nothing. Especially this piece of crap right here, if you know if you know what that is. Basketball games worth zero on the Atari. So let's go ahead and we can go Atari 2600. We'll look a little bit, we'll get a little bit of background history on this. All right, so let's go to, uh, come on. All right, well, maybe it's not going to tell me. How many How many sold? Units sold. 30 million units sold as of 2014. 30 million. And the best-selling game is uh, Pac-Man with 7 million. 30 million Atari 2600s. And people think because they are old. And look, look, look at this. This is, like, dirty as hell. Like, it's fucked up. Like, like look at it. It's dirty. It's probably was sitting in this guy's garage for, like, you know a bunch of years and you know like the games like yeah this one's probably worth like a buck not even maybe a quarter this basketball game is probably worth like five cents like this what is this yeah indiana jones that's probably worth like i don't know nothing and here's the pac-man mrs pac-man that's probably worth like a buck but yeah fifty dollars for that shit absolutely ridiculous let's see even the ps2 games is basically what's bothering me okay so this guy wants 10 bucks each okay so we got world championship pinball which is worth like five bucks math hoffman pro bmx i don't know quarter two bucks maybe uh guitar hill you see those things everywhere okay guitar hero threes they're everywhere on the ps2 so i could have picked one of these up yesterday for you know, PlayStation 2, and it came with two controllers, and he was only asking five bucks for the whole thing. And, you know, like, this is absolutely ridiculous. And, and it's, it's, it's making me, it's making me so hard to find, like, okay, this is NASCAR Thunder 2003, okay? If I, okay, let's go look at some NASCAR Thunder 2003s on eBay, okay? Let's see. NASCAR... Thunder 2003. Okay. So here we have one that's up for auction for a buck 22. Here we have another one for 8.59. That's for 
uh, the GameCube, which is the version version that I have. You know, the guy wants eight fifty nine for it. I paid five bucks for mine, and even that was pushing it. The only one that I would kind of pay a little bit extra for is either the PlayStation Two version or the PlayStation or the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox version. And you know, I, I would probably max it out at like five bucks or at six bucks for one of these two or no uh, NASCAR Thunder 2003 this one right here and uh, this one right here uh, and that's that that's me being generous because you know it's just ridiculous if you're buying like I, I just wanted to make this video and say if you're buying games on eBay if you're buying games online please 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 take a look at this website it's a simple website easy website to use and it's going to be able to tell you. It's a thing that I use all the time. It's called video games, price charting. It's free to use, whatever you could type in. Uh, let's see, we'll type in Pac Man. You know, it'll come up right here for you. And we'll see Atari 2600 Junior junior Pac Man. You know, it'll give you the loose price. It'll, you know, 695, uh, 693 complete price, which means it comes with the box, cartridge, and any manuals or pamphlets that are inside the box. That's, that's what complete means. And then new, of course, means say, uh, means sealed and then you can see right here Amazon goes for $5.99 eBay and then you can click here and the best part about this website is it'll show you uh, you know prices and stuff that are going for on eBay uh, and then you can go to um, there's, a, there's a place to go to uh, yeah here we go sold listings so these are games that have uh, uh, either have sold or haven't went so you know 10 bucks whatever this is a great website. I suggest that you use it when you are buying games on eBay or any website on the internet at all because I'm starting to get extremely, extremely fucking annoyed with the overpricing of fucking, you know, retro video games. You know, there's people out there who collect these things, they hoard them, and then, you know, they turn around and, you know, there's people out there that will buy low and sell extremely high. You know, it's it's a dangerous market to get into. I mean, if you really, really, really want it, like, the only, probably the only, uh, kryptonite that I have when it comes to buying older games are the Resident Evil games. I will pay top dollar for Resident Evil games, is because I collect them and don't plan on selling them anytime soon, and the faster I can complete my collection, you know, the, the better it is, and I could sit down and not have to worry about it. Right now, I already have, you know... I have Resident Evil 1, I have Resident Evil 1, uh, Resident Evil 1 sealed for PlayStation 1, I have the Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, uh, the game, uh, the GameCube, uh, version for, uh, Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, uh, I just need 3, uh, I have, you know, uh, Resident Evil for the DS, uh, so on and so forth, but all I'm saying is just remember this website, video game, price chartings and you know do some research before you buy games retro games online anything that's from you know PlayStation 2 Xbox and back pay attention to the prices even for the 360 games uh, and PlayStation 3 games and the Wii games especially the anything Nintendo pay attention to the prices because Mario part or Mario Party games here I'll even show you right now Mario Party all right, we're we're looking for the first Mario Party, the first Mario Party. You know, here, here it is. It's thirty one dollars and thirty five cents, and that's just the cart cart. That's pushing it. That's like eBay prices, you know. And then we could take a look at uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, for the N sixty four. This one, again, fifty one dollars and forty eight cents. I w if I found this. In the wild, or if I was buying it offline, I'd look for probably around thirty bucks, uh, because you know you want to ke uh, keep some of your your profit. But anyway, yeah. So, like I said, it's it's ridiculous as hell the overpricing that goes on uh, in the video game uh, area of things, and and of course there's the bootleg video games, and you gotta watch out for those. Uh, so just try to be careful when you're buying games online. And watch out for extremely ridiculous prices for things. Do your research. Ask your friends. Go to a, a you know if you have a local video game store, you know go there. See what they're charging for things. Uh, I have a really really decent uh, video game store. 
uh, in the city that I live in, Niagara Falls. It's called The Basement. Uh, you know, they price their things reasonably. They buy their things reasonably, and I, I, I absolutely love it. And then, you know, I had a store that I used to frequent in Kitchener, Waterloo, called uh, Games Exchange. They had prices that were good. Uh, there's another video game store, uh, KW Vintage, in Kitchener, Waterloo. Their prices are good, uh, but you still have to watch yourself there. Uh, you have to watch yourself anywhere because, you know, it's just, it's an open market and anything can happen and games just go up and down in price like crazy. Uh, so, you know, yeah, somebody one day could buy, I don't know, uh, Atari or ET for the Atari 2600 for 200 bucks and people are just going to continue to charge 200 bucks and we all know that game's not worth 200 bucks but anyway as always i'm asking this if you like this video please go ahead and uh, hit that like button post it on the comments and let me know how do you search for games how do you buy retro games please let me know i would love to know uh because i'm getting tired of either going to yard sales and people selling their shit for ebay prices or buying off ebay or looking at closet classifieds and it's the same price over and over and over again or extremely overpriced yeah so let me know what you do to buy video games um and yeah so if you haven't hit the big red subscribe button on my channel please make sure you do that and as always i'm asking the i'll see you guys in the next video Bye. hey on a mobile phone no problem i got you covered if you want to watch one of the featured videos featured one and featured two look down in the description if you want to continue watching the series look down in the description for next parts when available